So now we are sending the email along with the OTP, but we have not verified the caching system. So let's write a test for this. So again, on the email test, we need to create another test. And here we can say OTP is stored in cache for the user. So how we can assert this? So obviously we need to log in with the user. So we need to do these things to generate the OTP and send the email. But how we can assert that the caching has that particular OTP key, this one. So for that, what I'm going to do, I will open the user model and here I will create a function, public function and function name is OTP and just OTP and nothing else. So user OTP. So it's just going to return cache, then get my OTP. It's just this thing. So inside this test, what we can say after this, we can simply say user or we can say like assert uh, not null of user OTP. Okay. So let's run this test and we have some problem. It says abstract cache not found because we have not imported that cache here maybe. So, oh, that is file system cache is not this facade cache. So let's delete the file system cache and now let's run. And it is failing because it says asserting that null is not null. So this is actually returning null. Why is returning null? Let's see the result. This is returning null because you know the password is incorrect. So actually the mail is not sent or actually OTP is not created yet. So let's once more run and this time it is passing. That means we have successfully uh, verified that yes, OTP is created. So now what we need, we have the OTP, we just need a system where user can submit that OTP and we will verify and change the is verified column of user to one. So let's write another test for that. So I will create another test here and on the feature test, let's copy and paste it. So this time I'm going to say verify OTP test, simple one. So here it is, verify OTP test and migration is good. So the test is like, let's say this is the test and it will say a user can submit OTP and get verified. So here we will say if user is going to post a request on a route called verify OTP with the OTP itself. So like we are going to pass OTP and this will be like OTP and obviously we need to create a OTP. So let's create a OTP. So use facade and we'll say put and inside OTP is actually uh, let's say OTP we will create a random OTP so rand of 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 so create it and let's do one thing let's create OTP from here and then we will use OTP here this will only have at uh, seconds and let's say 20 seconds okay so we are sending this OTP and then what we are going to assert that assert status of let's say 201 and then we will say this uh, database has and now we will say we will say actually database uh, yeah database has on the users is verified to having the value of one so we need to assert and create all these things so let's run it yeah first time it fails it says variable otp is not found because that has to be capital otp 
so otp let's go run again and now it's saying that 201 but 404 is received because to see exact error we need to just stop the exception handling so i will say this without exception handling and now run the test and yes we can this time see it says not found http exception route is not there actually so let's create this route web.php and this route is not inside the middleware so now route is a post request to this and now let's create verify otp controller and c is missed out here at verify this is the function we need to create so what else we need to do let's go to test run it again now it says verify otp controller is not there so copy this one create a terminal and php artisan make controller this controller is created let's go to this controller and now we know we need to create a function which is called verify and this will obviously get some request and request this is good so we'll go to test run it and once more run it so that we can verify what actually we have problem so it says receive 200 because we are not doing anything inside the verify function so what we need to do we need to just say okay let's do one thing i will say return request of otp so i will i'm passing otp from this post request so obviously we can receive the otp here so if i now run this test uh, we should okay we are still getting 200 oh this is strange so let's do one thing here instead of returning i will do the die dump so die and dump go to test run once more and yes we are getting this uh, otp which we have passed from here and we know that this same otp is obviously on the caching also so let's now verify this so yes we can say if this request and request otp is exactly equal to the cache and facade cache get the otp if it is this then we will say authenticated user is verified or verified is equal to or we have to assign it is equal to one and what we can do we can simply say actually instead of doing this we can say update so update and is verified uh, verified to uh, true this is the simple statement and if it is that yes we are doing this and then returning the status or we can say returning response of uh, now let's say 201 i have decided for that it we will see what response we can do but it's good for now so let's see and run the test and we have some problem let's see the problem call to undefined method update on null so it says null because we are not uh, we are not having any user here so let's create a user and then we will obviously log in that user so we can just grab the user from here so user is there and then we can say uh, user or we can say this acting as the logged in user now on the test and we have some different error this time it says test feature user feature user not found where it is okay we have to import this also okay so this is very useful thing so is verified one and is verified is zero this is because you know if we go to user model we have this fillable part but we have not given the fillable part is verified so verified 
So now if I go and run the test, it passes. But if I comment this update part, it's now not passed. That means it's failed. And this means this proved that yes, our test is working absolutely fine. So we have done this, but this is just on the test. We have not created any form, any blade file. So we will do all these things in the next episode. So stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, go and subscribe to this channel and like BitFumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.